I have been having a lot of hate on this app lately due to certain choices I have made. Choices meaning I have made the spicy side. Quick update on my spicy side. It's been two weeks since I've had it and I have made around 350 Australian dollars. I am in the top 33% of creators. Oh, good for you. But I'm genuinely really enjoying it. I feel like the interactions on it, they're really nice. And um, yeah, no regrets. If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? And he said, can I take you out? That's important. That's important. He asked you me out. Who are like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it depends on who takes you out. Okay, whatever. The rest of the date was kind of ick to me. So like, even when he tried to like touch my shoulders, I was thinking in my head, don't touch me. Like, just don't do that. Yeah. You, you're a real boy to me. I'll kiss you in the Shut up! have been having a lot of hate on this app lately due to certain choices I have made. Choices meaning I have made the spicy side. And yes, that's all the videos I'm making right now because I'm excited about it. However, I'm just going to say one thing. Is it worse for me to be going out and clubbing and picking up random men and, you know, doing the deed? Or what if I am at home on Saturday night and making money from talking to men and selling beautiful photos of myself? Honestly, I would rather do the second. So, judge me all you want, but I don't really care. Uh, first off, don't kiss me with that baboon ass ever again. Second off, I just love how both options are bad. <laughs> it's like, how should I trash my life better? With the first option or with the second option? Going to clubs and sleeping with strangers every night is something that will trash your pair bonding ability which has already happened, so say bye-bye to a man who respects himself. Uh, but the second option, to have a NoF account, will not only trust your pair bonding ability, uh, but also many other things like your reputation, your dignity, uh, your chances of ever finding a real job. You know? But hey, three or four mentality. Quick update on my spicy side. It's been two weeks since I've had it and I have made around 350 Australian dollars. I am in the top 33% of creators. Now, if you think about it, all the girls that are like in one top 1%, if I'm up in the most earning 33%, that's pretty scary. That means that there's, what? 67% of people who make less than $350 a week a fortnight. So $150 a week on OnlyFans. Makes you sound like the people who are talking how much money they're making are a little bit full of shit. But I'm genuinely really enjoying it. I feel like the interactions on it, they're really nice. And um, yeah, no regrets. No regrets, she says as she ends the TikTok. Oh, trust me, you will regret it. You just exchanged your future and your chances at ever finding a good man and raising a family for $350 in two weeks. I think even McDonald's pays more than that. But hey, we have to be a 304 at core, right? These women are just throwing diamonds to the pigs. Diamonds being their potential and their youth. And the pigs are, well, in this case, their decisions. So tell me, was it worth it selling your soul for $350? Also, it's important to point out the level of pure degradation that our culture has reached. We have so many women like these in their early 20s already deciding and choosing to be essentially street workers. Like, I don't think money is an issue for this woman. I don't think that she's living in a third world country and her family is starving. No, it's just pure degradation, guys. It's having no, no value for your body, no, no um, value for your time. You don't respect your own identity. So give it a couple of years and she will expect men to do that. You, want, you will want men to respect you for who you are when you haven't 
You will want men to respect your time and value your body when you yourself haven't. I thank God every single day that I don't have a daughter like this. Right, guys. So I've come to a realization that men cannot handle rejection. They can't. I was coming back from work, guys. Hair a mess, exhausted, hot chocolate on my top because I had hot chocolate and it spilled on my top. Then, right, this guy is running after me as I'm, like, walking out the station as if I'm paying, even though I he comes up to me and he's like, you're so beautiful, like, I have to take your number, ETC, ETC. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard someone say ETC, etc. So I'm not gonna lie, I gave my number because if he's like deluded enough to think I look nice, then just mm -hmm. wait, just wait till mm -hmm. I'm actually good. Mm -hmm. So we go on the date. What kind of date? It was like a coffee date, but with like different pastries and stuff. Nice, very nice. Yeah, very, very cute. cute. It came to paying. Dun, dun, dun! It's always when it's paying. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, you know, trying to find his wallet and stuff. Gross. And like, it's you know when he's by the till as well, like people are waiting for you to just pay your like six pounds or whatever the hell it was. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. So I was like, should I just get this? Bear in mind, he said, can I take you out? That's important. That's important. He yeah, asked for you me guys out. who are like, oh, <laughs> it depends on who takes you out. He paid whatever. The rest of the date was kind of ick to me. So like, even when he tried to like touch my shoulders, I was thinking in my head, don't touch me. Like, just don't do that. Yeah. You, you're you're a little boy to me. I'll kiss you in your forehead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi. And he's like, I had a really nice time. Can I see you again? No. no. We're just like, honestly, the best policy. Like, this isn't working. And he asked why. And I was like, well, I paid. So, and he replied, giving me three bullet points. And these are what they were. <laughs> he said, I was going to pay. I was just looking for my wallet. Why wasn't your wallet in your hand? Also, this Apple, Apple Pay. pay. He said, number two, you insisted. No, I didn't. I just offered. I was being nice. It's called being polite. Being... And then to top it all off, he goes, number three, yeah? You're a bitch. That's what he called me. That was so rude. Like, That's really mean. mean. I think so too. I, I, he should apologise. He should. Guys, this woman on the right, who stole her personality? Who did it? Why is she sitting there like a doll, like an NPC, uh, just saying stupid one-liners, talking about the ick, talking about little boys and whatever not? Darn it. Buy an identity, alright? Have some little decency. Don't be a common 304, but I guess we can't expect that from women anymore. You know, guys, I, I don't defend the, this man. I don't think that he reacted in a mature way. I don't think that you should be insulting women. Just turn your back and leave uh, when you see that they are the common, the minimal common denominator. You know, don't waste energy. Don't react emotionally. So I'm not defending him, uh, but it really takes some nerve to be this superficial, where you, a, a doll has more soul than you. Like, you are literally a bimbos. That, that there are a million other like you, you know? You think that your makeup uh, will compensate for your lack of identity? No, it won't. Just because you have some fake eyelashes and fake up and cake up and makeup and all those things, it doesn't grant you with a personality, okay? You're a common 304. You only care about money. You went on that date, so the, so the guy buys you something. You didn't go because you loved him because you wanted to take it somewhere. No, you went there because you wanted the money. So best case scenario, you are equally as superficial as him, all right? You're not any better. You don't have the moral high ground. But we'll end the video right here, guys, with these uh, common 304s that somehow think that they deserve a good man and think that they are high value when literally they are of the most common low value ever. Like Chad sees these women as one of the many. They're not more attractive than other women. They have, they, they don't have things going on for them. Uh, they're not necessarily more attractive than other women. All right. Like Chad sees these as any other side dish. So you can guess where they land at the wall. So thank you for watching, guys. Leave me your comments down below, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.